Hi there, my name is Diane, but you can just call me Dee. In today's video, I'm gonna I'm gonna unpack all my books and uh, set up my shelves. I think I'm gonna keep quite a fairly similar setup as I had last time, but I might move some books around and I'm pretty excited about it. I don't have that many books. I mean, I do have a lot of books compared to an average person, I would say, but because I have been picking up books at the library, more often than buying my own books. I only have maybe a hundred books. I don't know. We'll figure it out in this video. I don't really have anything special on my shelves. I just like to have books and maybe a little trinket here and there. I'm really excited to be making this video. I have moved recently and all my books have been in boxes. I've been waiting to film this video because there's been a lot of things going on, um, but now I have some time, so I'm really excited to finally have my beautiful books uh, in front of me again. All right, let's do it. Alright, so this is my book collection. I do have my library books slash my TBR for the month uh, on my desk in my office and there's maybe a couple of books uh, scattered around in my bedroom or in my kitchen or even still in boxes, but this is really the bulk of it. 
So on this first shelf, we have principally a fantasy and sci-fi. Most of them I have not read, but whatever is behind, I have. Then at the bottom, I have my HP collection, but I don't want to focus on that. Then we have some big books that I either liked or I hope I will like. The little item here is from my favorite cartoon, I think it's called Nerdy in English. It still is to this day my favorite cartoon and behind it is a memory box for my relationship and also I'm not sure if you can see it in the back but behind is my mini wheel. It's so cute. Then we have my mass paperback books. I've got a few French classics here, some fantasy, some mystery, some thrillers. This one is all over the place. I also have some nut books and some mini books that are just so adorable. I got them either when I was a child or more recently from my mother. This bottom middle shelf is quite random. I have my favorite comic books. Unfortunately, that's all we have from our childhood collection. This was basically what was left of it when my parents moved recently. There's also some books about bird watching because I just love bird watching. I had an amazing class last fall all about birds which really made me fall in love with those little creatures and also i have my two tarot decks that i love and on top of the books you can see that i have a plastic bag and this one is full of birthday cards because i've always collected those this top right shelf is all my mystery or thriller books once again most of those i haven't read but hopefully i will soon most of my books have been thrifted anyway so and then down here we have mostly general fiction contemporary, historical fiction I see, we've got some classics, and we also have, I don't know, one or two mystery thrillers because I just didn't have enough space to fit them above, so here they are. I tried to do a rainbow for this one, and for most of them, really, I tried to color coordinate the to the best of my ability. Here is the overall look of it. I honestly don't really care about decorating the whole console. I feel like my books, all the decoration, they do a great job already. I just love seeing books and I don't think there is any one library that can be ugly in my opinion because books are beautiful on their own and together. They represent knowledge and open-mindedness. Well, hopefully. Here is my bookshelf tour. Let me know what you thought of it. Do you own books or do you just get them from the library? And if you do own them, how do you keep them organized? I usually like to go by genre and sometimes I will go by color like I did here. Sometimes it would be um, alphabetical. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of those. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.